Grow Cookies is proudly sponsored by Board Bia and StopFoodWaste.ie. It's mid June and we planted these peas just about two months ago and they're doing pretty well, probably not as tall as I would have expected. <laughs> You're very judgmental about the peas. <laughs> so we did we did have a bit of a problem here with some salad leaves growing over here, which, which definitely had a bit of a shading impact and yeah. competing for food. So they're not doing as brilliantly as we hoped, but hoping now with the salad leaves gone out of there, there'll be a bit of a bounce on. Will they be able to catch up? They will. Okay, so in terms of the shoots, could you harvest those at this stage or will that damage it will, the peas yeah, coming? Yeah, absolutely, it would damage it. So you can take the shoots for salads, but the plant won't grow much more after that. Okay. So you're better off not to do that. You can grow pea shoots separately in a container or whatever. Yep. Container growing, oh, you say. No. Bear so, with. So this is going to be one of two things. Either they're going to be a total disaster, <laughs> which is bad, or they're going to be <clears> brilliant, which is going to be even worse because she'll be absolutely unbearable. <sighs> oh, no. This is my moment <laughs> in your face. So, so enjoy it, Kelly. But don't be, <laughs> don't be too triumphalist. Nobody likes uh, to tri over yes, triumph. They do. On behalf of container growers <laughs> everywhere, read them and weep. They are read very, them very, and very, weep, very good. I must confess. Thanks a million. So why don't we harvest no, of the pea shoots? No. <laughs> Back away from my peas. They do they need a little brilliant. bit of support, to be fair, but that's about it. Yeah. Sorry, I don't want my peas touching your peas. <laughs> no, no. So these are Look, your peas are trying to get into the container. These, that's how desperate they are. These are absolutely fantastic. The next step with these is they're going to start doing a bit of flowering, and okay. those flowers then will turn into the pods, which will have your lovely peas in it. They don't need a feeding at this stage because, well, yours definitely don't because they're doing <laughs> so well. Maybe mine could do it a bit of a boost. <laughs> But they actually, peas take nitrogen from the air. Yeah. So they're called nitrogen fixers. True. So that means they take the nitrogen from the air and fix it in the soil. So okay. they kind of fertilize themselves very cleverly from the air. Okay. So no feeding necessary. I'm here. putting it back into its spot. I think there's, some, pi in your there's place. some pigeons doing the rounds here. You want to be careful of them. <laughs> Don't touch my peas. <laughs> Believe it or not, it really is the middle of summer. And right now we're in County Cork, my home county, the real republic. And we are about to check out a fantastic new community garden and not even the rain is gonna dampen our spirits. So today we're gonna to create a community herb garden. We are. We are gonna be planting 18 planter boxes, painting them in beautiful colors. And we have six benches. And the idea is that we're going to be bringing life, colour and edibles into Blackpool communities. Sounds like a plan. How did it all start? So we linked up with Blackpool Community Centre, Reimagine and Cork City Council to find a space that we could improve. And to be fair, before we rocked in here today, it was very uninspiring, very dull, no colour. The poor old shrubs hadn't had any love <laughs> for quite a long time. So this place is not going to know what hit it. And with just a few hours, our challenge is to completely transform this space. We didn't think that you could bring a community garden to the plaza in Blackpool, because as you can see, it's pretty much concrete. I mean, the whole community will benefit in the long term, because now you have herbs on your doorstep. That has a positive impact also on the wider community. And again, it's being creative. It's showing people that you can be creative with the little spaces that are available to you at your community. It's all about the community and people coming together to create this bright, inviting space. So plants, paint, people power. Power. Power all over it. I've left everybody down at the plaza in Blackpool to come up here to Tirnanog in Black Rock, where we're going to do another great transformation in the garden. Very, very different location, but the same applies. Plants and people power. It's going to be fantastic. So we arrived here with a whole gaggle of volunteers today. What has everybody been doing? In the front of the house there are planting lavender and flower seeds nice. and we're planting plum trees. Ah, which is what you wanted to have. Yes. Great, good, good, good. How is everybody that lives here enjoying the, the day and the garden? Great. 
because it means everybody's involved with us. Yeah. And a lot of people are always willing to try and help yeah. the best they can. So it's been great. It's been great. Because we it? couldn't do it on our own. No. And we're blessed with the weather. Yes. Happy days. Happy days. <laughs> <laughs> so whilst this crew are working away at Tiernan Oak, let's head back to Blackpool and see how the others are getting on. What an amazing day. So it's been a few hours, we're all a little bit wrecked, but I'm going home with compost and soil under my fingernails, paint all over my lawns, but knowing that we've made a massive difference. People power, plants and paint has completely transformed this space and it has just been so good to be part of. So it was only two and a half months ago that we first sowed the, the peas in the bed. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. Sorry. Focus, Michael Kelly. I am Focus. totally focused now. We're here two, harvesting peas. We are harvesting peas. They look amazing. They look they? amazing. So I have your favourite basket. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, into which thing. we're going to fill with all the peas, which as you can see are kind of different stages. So some of them are, are plumper than others, yeah. but these are all good to go, aren't they? Yeah, and we talked before about how you can eat different parts of the plant. You can eat the leaves are great in salads. You can eat the flowers. Just a couple of things before we finish to say, right? This basket is useless. I'm, lo <laughs> I'm losing all of the peas. Okay, so just not to forget with peas, right? This will keep producing. We're not finished with this yep. plant at all yet because there's still flowers on it. Okay. So that means they're gonna we're gonna get more pods, which is great. And the other thing is you can still do another sowing of peas, like you can su succession sow them, which means you can get another crop in around now and you'll have a late autumn second crop. In the raised bed versus the container growing. Yeah. Do the raised bed obviously won in spades. No, as it always does. Clearly not. I think it's fair to say that it's a draw. Do you think? Well, will we will we inspect the quality <laughs> of the plants? No, I'm only joking. These are actually great. Before you get worried, these are Not actually worried. these are actually brilliant. And like in fairness, there was probably an equal amount of peas there, thereabouts on both. Yeah. So you can you, container growing for peas works an absolute treat. Okay. Not so much for other stuff. Okay. Just Watch this space. With our freshly picked peas, Jessica Murphy is standing by to create a delicious soup in the Grow Cook Eat kitchen. Well done, Karen, these peas are great. I'm gonna get on with my first recipe, which is a roasted pea soup. So I'm gonna start off by blanching my peas in a lovely pot full of salted water. So peas don't take long, especially when they're fresh, they take one or two minutes. First of all, I'm gonna take one leek and one clove of garlic, and I'm gonna chop that up, and I'm going to add it to this pot and reduce it down slightly, so it's nice and soft. So, as you can see, it's pretty rustic. There's no fine dining, little chopping in this one. So, we're just gonna go over to this pot, give it a drizzle of olive oil, as much as you want. I'm using a teaspoon in that recipe. While that pan gets hot, I'm gonna get the peas out and put them in the tray and get them in the oven. The reason why we blanch them before we put them in the oven is to just basically take any of that starchy kind of flavor off them. So, we're just gonna add a bit of olive oil and salt and pepper to this just to get those skins nice and crispy. Right, we're gonna pop that into the oven for about six or seven minutes at 200 degrees. Now, while they're in the oven, I'm going to start by sauteing my leeks. So in the pot, I've got one leek and I've got one clove of garlic. And I'm just going to add maybe a cup or a half a cup of white wine. Okay, once that's boiling, what we're gonna do is turn it down to a simmer and we're gonna reduce it by half. So that's great, that's been six to seven minutes. So we're just going to add that to our leeks that's been reducing there. And at this stage, I'm going to add some fresh thyme and some tarragon. Right, we're just going to add a dash of chicken stock to that. So we're adding chicken stock to this because we're going to make it a really nice, smooth consistency. I find when you're whizzing anything like this, if you tilt the pot towards you, you get a bigger depth. If you find your soup too thick, just add a bit more chicken stock. Right, we have some beautiful, substantial roasted pea soup. 
That's a beautiful brown bread. Just gonna add a little drizzle of lovely olive oil. That's it, beautiful roasted pea soup, fresh from the garden. Okay, just so, like um, yeah, before, no, just before, no, no, okay, cool. before anything. So do you remember when my peas grew like way better than your peas? Ugh. Come yeah. on, take the little this. victory when it's going down. Oh, it's dude, fine. you're Doesn't so this magnanimous. this just look like a warm hug, though, of amazing? <laughs> it just looks gorgeous. It does look like a warm can hug. I taste? You can. So this is really good because sometimes with peas, I grow them and like there's a bit of work in, in shelling them mm. and getting them ready and all that. Do you know what's lovely about it is you still have the lovely freshness and you know that lovely green taste of a pea, yeah. but it's still really hearty and warming. Nice. It is. <laughs> it really is delicious. <laughs> Don't spill. Jess did a great job, didn't she? This is absolutely delicious. Like. Mm -mm. Really good. Yeah. Top, Yum. Top marks. Yay. Love the peas. For more information about growing peas and of course all the other veg featured in this series, head over to growcookie.ie. We really hope this series has changed the way you think about food and inspired you to give growing a go. And we'll see you next year for a brand new series with an exciting new selection of veg that you can grow, cook and eat. Sponsored by stopfoodwaste.ie and Bort Bia.